Hello, my name is Fokker from Moria. I'm uh, from the Netherlands and I've been, uh, I'm an architect and I've been working with MVRDP architects for a number of years, uh, working on uh, various projects in uh, different phases and a lot of different countries. And for this adventure in Thailand, I uh, collaborate with Jago. Uh, since uh, both offices, MVRDP and Metropa, have uh, a lot of experience specifically on this topic of water. And then um, uh, mainly on the sustainable implementation of it. And my name is uh, Jago van Bergen, partner architect from uh, Van Bergen Poppa Architects, based in Rotterdam. And uh, together with Evert Poppa, my partner, we uh, run uh, projects in the office about uh, urban and architectural design below sea level. Like Thai food, I uh, simply love it. And by first entering Thailand, you can immediately sense what high value food has for the Thai people. Um, it's not just eating when hungry, like the Dutch would, but it's a really um, a social and cultural event um, with a, a wide range of flavors and spices and freshness, and of course, a beautiful presentation. And when you talk about uh, Thailand, I think it's also very much about Bangkok where we are doing the project and uh, let's say city for us which is an incredible uh, mixture of energy and uh, exotic uh, uh, influences and uh, about food, the Thai food, um, I think the complexity is a, a very uh, a beautiful thing on it, a very tasteful thing on it. But you can taste at the same time sour, sweet and salt elements within one uh, dish. The water in the um, is a uh, metropolitan area, or at least a high-dense uh, urban area, uh, where water is simply embraced. So it should be a tool or an element within uh, creating such a city which uh, makes it part of it, uh, part of the urban space um, and part of the everyday life. Uh, and since water is fluid, uh, it changes, its levels can change from high to low, its condition can change from solid like ice to uh, humidity to steam to of course water. Um, and uh, we, can, we can manipulate its functions from storage to cleaning, for drinking water, uh, for cooling, for transportation and food for pleasure. So uh, to make it true and uh, to exploit this true tool, um, uh, should, the city should also be adapted to it, otherwise it doesn't work. Yeah, I think also the water adaptive city is in the first place about safety. Uh, with a certain uh, degree of, let's say, dynamics in it, as we refer to the different conditions. Um, and um, let's say these dynamics can give uh, to the inhabitants of the water at the city all kinds of uh, new experiences and also uh, adventures maybe uh, on a daily uh, basis. So uh, the water at the city is both safe and adventurous. Yeah, to create a water adaptive city you really need people who actually make use of and live in the city. Um, to get to all the depth of it. Um, so we need a crossover of uh, people who uh, live in the city. Um, since it's not just uh, the mayor running a city, it's also a community which, with needs and demands and wishes. It's um, not just an architect or a planner designing a beautiful city, it's, uh, it's also um, <coughs> Again, a community or a resident who um, makes gives it actually meaning, in it. Um, and it's not just a, a civil engineer who uh, builds a dike. It's just a boatman who actually uh, needs to run on this water. So there needs to be a wide range of experts, uh, both global and local, to actually be in this team to uh, to get to all the points in depth to create this perfect water adaptive city. Let's say who is working also uh, in what kind of coalition. And, um, our dream team would be um, 
maybe working together in some kind of research and design uh, center involving all these disciplines, uh, including communities and institutions. Uh, maybe it could act maybe like a laboratory that uh, provokes and tests and implements uh, new designs and new ideas on the water adaptive city. We're very much looking forward to uh, uh, what ha will happen in, uh, let's say, two weeks from now. Um, first of all, we'll be visiting the uh, exhibition about the workshop we had on the Bangkok Adaptive City 2045 at Superborn. Um, then we will uh, interview the uh, really publication that we have been working on with all the essay writers, um, and which is then finished. Um, and we will visit the mini symposium that we're um, about to, um, uh, to finalize uh, and invited a lot of participants who were actually together in the Make This Coalition that we just described. So we're just really much looking forward to what happens. Also looking forward to uh, a little field trip uh, to uh, Haitia and uh, see how uh, an original water adaptive city uh, actually uh, works. Well, we really hope that a lot of inspiration will come from this, so indeed new collaborations can start to exist um, to actually simply make this adventure into a very meaningful exercise. And that if this coalition, in what kind of form uh, you can think of takes place, you can jointly work together on uh, water adaptive uh, cities and architecture. That would be uh, fantastic, fantastic achievement.